Next, we're going to measure the, uh, the inductance of a coil. Now, the coil is symbolized as either of these two drawings. Up here, I have what's known as a transformer. There's two coils next to each other, and I'm just going to use one of the coils. And the first setting I'm going to have it on is on resistance. And so there's the resistance, and this coil has a resistance of 109.9 ohms. Now, over here, I have continuity. So we can use logic for continuity, and that beep means I have continuity or there's a connection. If I disconnect, I don't have one. Okay. I'm going to turn it off so I don't have to be bothered by the beeps. I'm going to switch my input over here so that I can measure the Henry's. And the little H up there. So my red input goes over here for the H on the far left, and my com black stays the same. And then I'm expecting, well, actually, I don't know if this is going to be in millihenries or henrys. I'm guessing millihenries, though, because it's a pretty small coil. The beeping, by the way, just means that I have the wrong connectors down here. So there's millihenries. And again, give it a minute to see if it can find it. I'm going to switch to Henry's. I guess it was too large. It's larger than I thought. Huh. So for this particular coil, it would be point... Oh yeah, I forgot that. The Henry one kind of counts down until it settles down. So we just have to wait for a little while. You could employ the, the min value here, but it's just as well just to watch it change because it is going down. What's the resolution of this? Looks like it's one millihenry because the smallest decimal being measured here is 0 .001 henrys or one millihenry. So we could call this 0 .808, 807 Henry's plus or minus one millihenry. That's how we would, re we would record the measurement. So it's pretty much settled down now. We could call it that measurement or wait another minute or so just to make sure that it hasn't gone down any further. So that's measuring the Henry's. Let's find a smaller value here. I'm just going to connect it between these two posts. Fewer turns fewer turns would produce less inductance. And again, oh, now we can use the millihenry range. The coil you might be using in lab might be only 8.2 millihenries. And then let's try the, uh, the bigger coil on the back side here, the back side of the transformer. So that's a lot smaller in millihenries. But look at the resolution. We'd say 2.5, whatever, let's call it 70, I don't know where, where it's going to settle, millihenries, plus or minus 0 0.001 millihenries would be the uncertainty.